All right, so I am in Madrid now. Flew from Glasgow to London this morning at an ungodly hour. Had to be at the airport by like 5, 15 a.m. So that was fun. Um, and now I am here in Madrid waiting for a couple hours before my final flight to Dakar. So one of the really huge positives about living in, being based in Glasgow this time around is that even though the day is very long and I'm exhausted, at least I don't have to deal with the jet lag situation. So happy about that. And I'm going to see if I can maybe sleep on this level marble floor and so my flight. So see you in the car. Already I'm having the culture shock that the key is this thing. That doesn't make sense. We didn't have to do that on the Africa Mercy. We had actual keys. Hey everyone and good morning from Senegal and from the Global Mercy. I have arrived. Cannot believe I'm here. I woke up in like a daze because there's so many things that are familiar about this ship. So I felt like I was on the Africa Mercy when I first woke up and then I realized, no, I'm definitely not. Probably the quietness of this cabin is when I realized I'm not in the Africa Mercy. Really good soundproofing. The cabin is beautiful. I will show you the whole thing later. Uh, I'm just looking out the window right now and can see, well, maybe you can't really see. Well, about two minutes ago, there was a huge line of our day crew, our local day crew who are starting today, coming in for orientation today. So I can see them all, uh, all out there. And I am actually, what time is it? Oh, I am late, I'm already late. I have a tour of the ship planned right now, which oh, I'm so glad to be back in a place where the commute is only like a minute, so I won't be that late. Though I don't know where I'm going, so scratch that, I need to go. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get a tour so that I can give you a tour because <laughs> I don't know where I am. Excited to officially have my name tag and be back. Um, so I am gonna go figure out where I am, orient myself, and then we will start exploring this amazing ship. This is like, yeah, you've been on the Africa Mercy Gym. So yeah. this, it's like right here. This yeah. space would be Africa Mercy Gym versus Global Mercy Gym. <laughs> so no Mercy hips here then. Well, so far it has been a never ending saga of me being very lost. I think I'm on the port side, I hope. Thought I'd show you around this cabin. Two beds here. Guess you can guess the one I've slept in. 
Got a nice couch, bolted down table, that's smart. Um, we've got the mirror. Don't go anywhere without my hat. The bathroom's really similar to the Africa Mercy, except that it makes less, oh, what did I turn that off? Makes less sound. The shower doesn't vacuum suck every like minute, which is nice. So I got the bathroom. Have my own fridge and microwave. Lots of storage space, which is nice. I feel like the Africa Mercy had a lot less. And I like these little, um, yeah, there's all my clothes. This is smart too. They really upgraded here. If you push that, it locks. So smart. You would think we would have thought of this sooner on the Africa Mercy, but we had um, these little things that you put in here so that during sales, your, your closet didn't fling open. <laughs> so um, really smart, love that. It's little things in life. Um, then of course a view. That's pretty much it. Oh, and what I'm so excited about, climate control. That is new, Africa Mercy people. We did not, we did not have such a thing. So there is the tour of my cabin. Obviously, family cabins, couple cabins are gonna be a little bit different, but you can get the idea of a two-person cabin. Though this is a guest cabin because from what I heard on my tour, if you have a cabin mate and you're here, you know, long term. I hear, I'll have to maybe see if Kate can show me her cabin because I hear the cabins are set up a little bit differently. So you have like a curtain and you kind of have your privacy even within the cabins. But what's really cool about the Global Mercy um, is that on the Africa Mercy, you could have up to up to 10 people in a cabin, um, which is <laughs> kind of crazy looking back at that. And so you might have four, it might be a four birth, six birth, 10 birth. Um, whereas here, the most you can have is one cabin mate. So that is a huge change. Um, and I think that that will really, really um, add to the longevity <laughs> of people staying here, especially if you're introverted. So that's cool. Though I'm sure some people really love the 10 births. She have great memories as well. So I'm not trying to diss the Africa Mercy. I love the Africa Mercy. I'm an AFM girl. I can't wait to do a full tour video later. I've just been showing you some glimpses of things I've seen today, but I will do a full tour later once I'm no longer getting lost because that's not a very good tour guide is it so anyways that has been my day gonna take a wee little nap now uh because I am very tired from my night of traveling had a little bit of trouble at the gate because the ship just got here we're still figuring out all the protocol and because I didn't have a badge there was a lot of um struggle getting me through the gate and to the ship so I didn't get in until super late last night. And I will see you tomorrow with another video.